I do. Yeah, yeah, so I know you're busy, busy. So listen, I'm going to open it up to. Um, okay, sure, sure. This, if you're just joining us, it's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles, and look who we have: Wendy Malik from Hot in Cleveland, and. This is it's very casual. It's very behind Apparently the scenes. Apparently so. People yeah. are putting makeup very, on you. It is. Why so much? I think people on Google Plus like it is because it is kind of a, a window into what, what we do behind the screen mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and we get to talk to you on a very casual, uh, very informal setting. And so anyway, these are the guys from Google Plus, and we have a whole bunch of people here from the UK, oh, from hello. Canada. Oh, hello, people all over the world. Hello, hello. hello. And Canada, and a lot of them are actually all over familiar with your work. So uh, I know she's got to go, so let's open it up to some questions with our pleasures. Um, Kyle. Hello, hello Wendy. Uh, big fan of you from Just Shoot Me. Um, I love that show way back in the day. Um, I haven't uh, seen your new show that often, but um, I do see that uh, Betty White is on there with you. How is it working with her and being with everything? That just must be crazy. I think it's maybe the best thing that has happened to uh, to women in my business, uh, having Betty sort of reemerge and have this, I don't know if this is her third or fourth or fifth incarnation. incarnation. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. But it's, it's reminded all of us that women can be fabulous um, for their entire lives and that you don't have to sort of uh, crawl off into the sunset and, and hide at a certain age. And being with her has just been sort of an inspiration. And she's a blast. And I consider her one of my good girlfriends. She's just really fun to be with. Is she a kick in the pants? Kick in the pants, yeah. yeah. No, they, it's just a great group of women. Valerie, Jane, Betty, and I always... We all uh, sort of show up, and when we've had a week off or, or we're on a hiatus, we're always so happy to come back together again because it's just a blast to go to work and be with fabulous women who make you laugh. Mm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mike, go ahead. Um, hi, Wendy. Um, if you got some news today that they were remaking, say, a couple of episodes of Frasier, uh, would you play the same character and just, like, jump at the chance to do that? Oh, I love that show. In fact, uh, Jane loves to remind people that I am—I was her mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, because I was married to uh, to John, John uh, Mahoney, and she was, of course, married to uh, to Niles. So yeah, yeah, no, we had a blast, and I was so—it was such an honor to join them for the last season of that iconic mm. show. That was such a beautifully written show, and we are fortunate enough to have some of the same writers. We have mm. a number of writers from Frasier. I think six or seven of our writers come from that show. So uh, we are in excellent hands, really excellent hands. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Steven, go ahead. Um, out of all it's the so cute, it's like a class characters that you play, <laughs> what would be your favorite? What has been your favorite? Is that yeah, your favorite character that you've played so far. Uh, oh, wow, that's a hard one. I love them all for different reasons. Um, yikes, I don't know. Uh, I really probably the most the most career changing role for me was uh, Judith Tupper Stone on a show called Dream On that was on HBO and it was the first time that uh, writers realized that I was funny mm -hmm. and up until that point mm -hmm. I had been playing a lot of dramatic characters because I was tall and brunette and I think imposing and they didn't know that I was funny and on that show they discovered it and started to write to that aspect of my being and um, it just opened up a whole new world for me. Is it more difficult doing comedy as opposed to drama? Because I often hear that it's the bigger challenge. Uh, I think for a lot of people actor. they would say that you know you are so, as in all acting, I mean it so depends on the writing but I was incredibly fortunate to have people who sort of got my voice and my timing and my sense of humor and uh, I love comedy. I just, uh -huh. I love it and being a character actress too just uh, opened up a whole new world for me. Mm. Well, we have fun watching you, definitely. Kempton. Yeah. Uh, Wendy, a big fan of you. Uh, and uh, Jane uh, from her fa Frasier's Day. So can you talk about uh, how is it like working with uh, Jane? Oh, I, she is so fabulous. And she's the first actress I've seen eye to eye with in my career. Like, literally. She's you're as tall as I am. Because <laughs> yeah. you're tall. I'm very tall. You she, were wears for, she wears insane. She and Valerie both wear these high heels. Betty and I always think they're going to fall over. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Jane is, she's got that fabulous, dry English humor, and she's incredibly beautiful, but doesn't mm -hmm. know it about herself, which makes her even more beautiful. Um, but she's a great broad. You know, she's terrific. I'm, I'm very fond of her. My little girl. Aww. Okay. Anyone else have a question? I got one. 
It's like, Keanu, oh, go ahead. Working on um, just shoot me. How is it possible to work with David Spade and not be cracking up laughing all the time? You know what? Sometimes the secret is when you're inside a joke and something's really working and somebody you have somebody brilliant to play off of like David, it is such a sublime, divine feeling that you just want to like own it and just hang out in it. And sometimes you can be as serious as a heart attack in the middle of something really hilarious. Afterwards, you usually break up. <laughs> but during it, it's like, it's like surfing. I mean, we, we talk about this a lot. One of the reasons I think doing live comedy is so much fun is you actually, the audience is the other character in the piece. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like surfing. You're riding a wave. And sometimes you can just feel that if you just give it another second, you'll get a second. Mm -hmm. laugh over something that you did or you can anticipate something happening it's it's like doing a dance or playing tennis with great players who just do you have a, a live audience um yes. for how, okay okay that does yes. it is oh, a part of the show definitely it's the energy just goes <laughs> on the day yeah. the audience comes it's really amazing well congratulations because i heard Thank that you. you have a fourth season coming up. Yes, we do. So big, big congrats, uh, right. congrats to you and the other lovely ladies. Thank on you Hot very Disney. much. It, it airs um, Mondays, yes? Oh, no, 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 sorry, Wednesdays. Night. Yeah, Wednesdays. our new season, our, uh, our new season starts tomorrow night, and uh, we'll have new shows for the following 10 weeks. And Great. Yeah, it's it's really fun. Okay, don't forget to watch Wendy Malik on well, uh, Hot, Hot in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. Bye. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh Seinfeld. We didn't talk about that, but there's yes, exactly. <laughs> if we were, if we had more time, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, uh, can we get a picture of you? Is that sure. okay? Did you guys get a screen capture of Wendy? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, we got a few. Yeah, thank you. Oh, 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 oh wait, that's a good one.